spanning tree port fast now now in this video we'll see a feature a cisco proprietary enhancement to the spanning tree to speed up the convergence on the access ports now if you just go back to the basic spanning tree behavior like uh, let's take an example i have a switch which is connecting to some of the access ports now whenever i provide a connection on this particular port by default the port goes through listening and learning stages now this listening and learning stages is the default behavior because every port goes through a spanning tree verification where it is going to take some 30 seconds of time before it actually transitions into forwarding state so once it confirms that there's no possibility of loops or there's no bpd messages on this particular port and it's going to put the port into forwarding state but after 30 seconds now uh, because of this default behavior of the spanning tree let's take an example i have there are some services which might get affected let's take an example i have some dhcp server here and probably whenever you power on the pc here it's it's connected on the port and whenever you power on the pc it's going to send some broadcast request requesting a dhcp server to assign the ip address and but the switch is not going to forward that particular messages uh, till 30 seconds so which means you have a 30 seconds downtime by default on each and every access port and because of that downtime they, there might be cases like some of the services like dhcp service request may not reach the dhcp servers and that is something we really don't want now let's verify the default behavior i'm going to uh, connect this pc on port number one and if I go to the command line and verify the default behavior of the spanning tree here, if I give show spanning tree, you can see the port number one, which I connected to the end host is going through some listening state. And after some time, you'll see the port goes into learning stage before it actually transitions into forwarding. I can see the port is still in amber color now. Now it turns to green. Now the port transitions into forwarding that is the default behavior now we actually don't want this behavior now what we can do is we can add some enhancement to the default spanning tree behavior where on this particular access ports we can disable spanning tree so in fact we are not disabling spanning tree we can say uh, we we are going to enable port fast feature which will allow the particular access ports to transition into forwarding immediately without listening without learning bypassing the listening and learning stages so which means once you enable port fast these particular ports will not go through with listening and learning stages so there's no more listening learning stages and the transitions immediately into forwarding so when you enable port fast it means automatically you are disabling the spanning tree on that particular ports and you need to be very careful because if you do this on the port which is connecting to a switch or a hub or any other uh, device uh, where there is a possibility of loop so you know it's really not you need to just keep in mind that you should not you enable the port fast on the ports which are connecting to the switches or hubs because it can cause temporary loops so port fast has to be enabled on the port which is connecting to a single end station and if you are going to enable the port fast on a port which is connecting to another networking device it can cause a temporary loops so that's something we need to ensure that we are not enabling the port fast on the links connecting to switches so once you enable port fast so administrator is going to ensure that these ports they are not connecting to any end any networking devices or the switch or a hub and we are saying that these are connecting to the end devices and there's no possibility of loops now this way we can save that 30 seconds a downtime initially for access ports now to enable the port fast on the access ports either we can go to the specific interface and we can enable it by using a range command if you if you want to enable on multiple ports we can give a command called spanning tree port fast on the interface specific or we can enable the same command globally so by using this command called spanning tree port fast default now, if you are going to enable the port fast or globally uh, in the global configuration mode, it is going to make each and every access port will automatically will be enabled with a port fast feature. So, which means the trunk links will not be configured as a as a port fast. Every access port will automatically become a port fast port. 
so either we can define a specific interface or we can make every access port to go into port fast state. So let's go to the command line here for verification. I'm going to switch one and I'm going to configure interface range F0 by 1 to 10. So I'm assuming that the first 10 ports are going to be connected to my end devices. And then I'm giving a command called spanning tree port fast. Now, once you enable this spanning tree port fast, you can see there is a warning message which says that the port fast should be enabled only on the ports which is connecting to a single host. And if you have any, if this particular port is connecting to hubs, concentrators, switches, bridges, any of the networking devices, uh, it's going to create some temporary loops. It's just a warning message. And then it says that the port fast has been configured on this 10 interfaces due to the range command which we have used. And port pass will have only effect when the interfaces are in non-trunking mode. So right now these ports are not in the trunking mode. So now for verification, what I can do is I can have some connections uh, on the end devices on port number two, port number three, and port number four. And I can go and verify which shows spanning tree. Now I can see port number two, three, four immediately transitions into forwarding state without listening and without learning. So uh, this is how we can optimize. It's a Cisco proprietary feature of speeding up the convergence on the access ports and it can be enabled either uh, interface specific mode or global configuration mode. So depending upon the requirement, uh, part of the configuration, you can either, you can go with any one of these configurations and both will have the same uh, same impact on the switches.